So the market cap is $2.168 trillion. And now the market... Oh! Oh! It went to zero! Yeah! GM and welcome back to the channel. Just a quick market update here as of course yesterday we had some very volatile downside action and last night here in the UK we wicked to 58.5k which is the bottom buy here and with it Bitcoin liquidations for longs came in and wiped a lot of people. So a lot of longs getting taken off the board and now we have the potential for a reversal but we are most certainly not out of the woods that red line there around 62.5 we want to flip we're going to jump into a few charts and stuff here one thing to mention based on the major news yesterday around the mount gox selling that will come to the markets looking back through some data over recent weeks we had a load of whales actually selling uh, there was quite a large anomaly around whales just selling off big bags of coins. And now that starts to make a lot more sense because that knowledge would have obviously been to their advantage and they could have sold knowing that obviously Mt. Gox News is going to come out, likely it leads us lower. So there's quite a few factors that make me think bottom here, but of course, you know, things could obviously get worse. It is crypto at the end of the day, but this was Donald's post last night saying, look, this is a precarious position. Bitcoin coming in to break below 60K. It doesn't look good. We want to flip the green box here. But if we just go on to his next slide here. So this is the kind of update. We have obviously that big wick down. Bitcoin showing signs of recovery, but it does need to get above his box, which he says is around 62-ish as well. So Bitcoin hovering around 61 at this moment in time. We want to see today get some upward momentum, maybe towards 62.5, hopefully above that. And then we're back into a better range rather than where we've been languishing down here. In terms of those liquidations, if we just look at the 24 hour wrecked here, 303 mil, 222 mils worth of longs, getting wiped off the boards, 81 mil of shorts. And you can see the ratio is kind of skewed in favor of more people shorting than being long right now so the market generally likes to be more balanced than this so this could obviously mean some higher prices as we come and target the shorts you can also see on here the charts showing the big green bar with the longs getting rinsed that moved down into 58.5 took a lot of people out so as you would have seen market makers typically go for those pain points and there were forced liquidations as of yesterday now this was a cool update to see as well so donald has been calling the markets really well although he has been quite annoying on twitter but he says, look, I'm calling it a day short in. I think there's a reasonable chance we could get further expansion to the downside, but he doesn't want to be concentrating on shorts in that scenario. He wants to be looking for longs and being a buyer. He's also flipped the profile picture from upside down to the correct way up as well. So seemingly more of a bullish bias. I would weigh his opinion quite strongly, to be fair, because he is consistently very right on high time frame moves. Wales, we have Mr. 100 buying 200 BTC over the last 24 hours as well. So a bit of confluence around maybe Wales starting to rebid as the lows may well be in. Fear and greed, it has been switched off and switched back on again apparently here as it is now showing a fearful reading at 30. So this provides some good divergence between sentiment and price potentially. People get max bearish, but price didn't actually break below the previous lows from May around 56 to 57k so we are now fearful at 30 which is good if you want us to continue higher we want to see a bit of uncertainty and fear in the markets ETH BTC is at 0 0.055 and yesterday even with Bitcoin nuking ETH had a big green day in terms of that ratio so ETH outperforming yesterday which could be some good signal around the ETH ETF and potential strength coming for Ethereum. Three meme coins to look at. This is super interesting that the biggest gainers over the last 24 hours will be the meme coins. If you search that on CoinGecko you can see Whiff did not lose mindshare even though it lost some key support areas namely around two and change went down to 150s even a lot of grave dancing but it is one of the bigger gainers today back up to 187 i think mog is the biggest gainer 
So this one managed to buy the fear last Tuesday at around sevens. It's up a 2x since then, which is pretty damn impressive. Now, bear in mind, we have the ETH ETF coming. ETH-based meme coins are likely to do very well, MOG being one of those, and that is the all-time highs around here. So it's pushing on very nicely here, up like 40% over the last 24, 46%. So pretty impressive move. And also PopCat as well did manage to put in a good base here around 24 cents, and then it's pushed up to over 40, a little bit of a retrace here, but up, look at that, 58.8%. So Rather interesting to see from a trading perspective, people were grave dancing on memes. VCs were putting out think pieces saying that meme coins are dead. And that seemingly may have marked the bottom for those. So the attention cycles around meme coins just going to continue to occur, I believe. Yes, there were definitely too many meme coins in the market. Pump.fund did not help with that. But I think the established players can go on, kick forwards and potentially hit very high market caps during this cycle. But that is the update for today. Still not out of the woods, but showing some signs of recovery here. Hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next one. Peace.